For people in the 1800s, the arrival of a stagecoach with the latest mail and the treasure box was a part of their daily lives. Wells Fargo is proud to present the stagecoach as an authentic part of the company's past and a living part of American history. Cars and planes may be the quickest way to travel today, but in the 1800s, the stagecoach was the fastest option. They used a relay system and replaced tired horses with fresh ones every 10 to 20 miles to keep traveling day and night. A journey by a single person could take weeks traveling alone by horse, but the stagecoach could arrive in days. In the 1800s, stagecoaches were more than just a way to travel. They helped people stay connected. They carried mail, news, even money. Business owners used to send instructions and payments to towns across America as the arrival of the stagecoach was such a big part of each day. Escorting our current Congress Queen is Columbus City Council President Shannon Harden. Council President Harden has been a member of City Council in Columbus since 2014 and was named Council President in January. Born and raised here in Columbus, he grew up around horses and regularly attended the Congress. He's been a longtime advocate and voice for the American Quarter Horse Congress. He and the City Council and colleagues share its support and appreciate the impact of the Congress on the city. Thank you, Council President Harden. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in her last official duty as 2017 Congress Queen, we present Sarah Laughlin. My entire childhood, I looked forward to the magic of the All-American Quarter Horse Congress. As I practiced, I would dream of the sweet victory I would feel with the Schneider's trophy coat around my shoulders. This industry continuously empowers me to pursue my ambitions, no matter how large. Last year, I graciously accepted my first Don's Bell Bronze Trophy upon being crowned the 2017 All-American Quarter Horse Congress Queen. It is humbling and a great honor to win a title based on the character and integrity I developed through my involvement with the American Quarter Horse. In the past 365 days, I have traveled to six different states, advocated to several Ohio State representatives, spoken to various 4-H clubs and agricultural groups, judged a high school rodeo contest, and learn how to make a custom show saddle from start to finish. I have few words to describe what it feels like to pass out awards alongside a family in honor of their child, or to hear someone say they worked their whole life just to become a finalist at a championship show. Aside from sheer inspiration, learning about each and every one of your passions has put my own values into perspective and has reminded me how every opportunity we have is a gift. I want to say thank you to Chris Cecil Darnell Dr. Scott Myers, the entire Ohio Quarter Horse Association, my awards family, and the Congress Queen team for not only putting on a contest that honors the purest qualities of our industry as women, but for allowing me to represent the largest single breed horse show in the world. Diligence, perseverance, resilience, and leadership are just four of the traits you've continuously instilled in me through my involvement with your group. My sincerest thanks to the amazing sponsors who ensured I looked and felt my best each and every day. It was an honor to represent your business. I want to give thanks to Eastern Ohio for believing in my abilities to become Congress Queen. You all truly have the biggest hearts. 
Thank you to my parents and family for the countless sacrifices you have made and the support you have given to see my dreams come to fruition. And of course, thank you to my friends, followers, and the entire community for being such a special part of my story. Finally, I wish the best of luck to all of the ladies standing in the arena tonight. You have embarked on the experience of a lifetime and you deserve to enjoy every moment. I hope that as Congress Queen, I prove to you that you do not need to have won a championship to make a difference. There are so many other ways to realize your potential, and it is important to be curious, be kind to one another, and to never give up on what may seem like an impossible dream. I hope I was able to show you that we are all authentic and beautiful in our own way, and we do not need a crown to lead one another. I stand before you tonight for the very last time to show you what you can become through the influence of the American Quarter Horse. For this opportunity, I am forever grateful. I am Sarah Elizabeth Laughlin, and it has been one of my life's greatest pleasures to represent all of you as the 2017 All-American Quarter Horse Congress. Thank you, Sarah Laughlin. Congratulations. What a wonderful ambassador, and I might add, now a development officer for Nationwide Children's Hospital. We welcome you, and we thank you. And now the moment this group has been waiting for through much hard work, interview, test, horsemanship, and many, many hours of preparation. Results of the interview in 10th place. We congratulate Alexa C. Mack, Ohio Quarter Horse Racing Association. In ninth, Carly Massey, Virginia Quarter Horse. In eighth, Bailey Haas, Southern Ohio Quarter Horse. Placing seventh. Mariah Shearer, Tri-State Quarter Horse. In sixth place, Tiana Dominguez, Ontario Quarter Horse. Fifth place goes to Claire Flynn, New York State Quarter Horse Association. In fourth place, Alexis Taylor, Northern Ohio. Third place overall for the interview, Allison Henson, South Carolina Quarter Horse. Your reserve winner in the interview, we congratulate Taylor Foster, Indiana Quarter Horse. And now the winner of the interview competition, we congratulate Ashton Williams, Arkansas Quarter Horse. Congratulations. Now on the written exam. One of the very, very equally difficult parts of the competition. In 10th place, congratulations, Carly Massey, Virginia, Quarter Horse. In 9th place, Shelby Petler, Wisconsin, Quarter Horse. 
In eighth place, Allison Henson, South Carolina. Seventh place, congratulations, Tiana Dominguez, Ontario Quarter Horse. Sixth place, congratulations, Alexis Taylor, Northern Ohio Quarter Horse. In fifth place, Alexis C. Mack, Ohio Quarter Horse Racing. Fourth place, Claire Flynn, New York State Quarter Horse. In third place, Ashton Williams, Arkansas Quarter Horse. Second place, Mariah Scherer, Tri-State Quarter Horse. And the winner of the written exam, Taylor Foster, Indiana Quarter Horse. In the horsemanship, 10th place, Lauren Barnes, Michigan Quarter Horse. Ninth place, Fallon Harkin, Ohio, Michigan, Indiana. In eighth place, Sydney Ibera, Northern West Virginia. Seventh place is Tiana Dominguez, Ontario Quarter Horse. Sixth place, Carly Massey, Virginia Quarter Horse. Fifth place, congratulations, Alexis Taylor, Northern Ohio. Fourth place, Mariah Scherer, Tri-State Quarter Horse. In third place, Ashton Williams, Arkansas. Your reserve in horsemanship. Congratulations, Annalise Ritzy, Buckeye Southern. And now the winner of the horsemanship. Congratulations, Taylor Foster, Indiana Quarter Horse. Now a very special award, Miss Congeniality. And we congratulate Alexis Zemak, Ohio Quarter Horse Racing. Presenting the second runner-up. 
Congratulations, Mariah Shearer, Tri-State Quarter Horse. The first runner-up, All-American Quarter Horse Congress Queen, Ashton Williams, Arkansas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together as we welcome our 2018 All-American Quarter Horse Congress Queen from Indiana, Taylor Foster. Congratulations. Taylor is the daughter of Greg and Nancy Foster. By the way, Nancy was the 1978 Indiana Quarter Horse Queen. Taylor is employed full-time by the Dermatology Center of Indianapolis as a patient service rep, focused on customer service. She's nearly complete with her associate's degree and will transfer to a Bachelor of Business in Men, Taylor has said that giving back to the breed has given her such a privilege. Congratulations. <laughs> 